All right, so we are now back in Duskwood. And the plan before we log out is to try and make it to any inn in Stranglethorn Vale. Last time I went to Stranglethorn Vale was when I was in Westfall. I decided that Duskwood looked cool. We ran past Ravenhill, followed this road, and then took this path down in the Stranglethorn Vale. I think the episode's called A Lone Adventurer. Probably like level, or probably episode 15 or something. We are much higher level now. I do believe Stranglethorn Vale is a map that is level 30 to 45, according to what I what I heard. And yeah, I'm going to go there and we're going to see if we can find an inn to look out in. Because that will be nice, because then I can start my next recording session, my next adventure in Stranglethorn and... I think I like that map. I really like the map aesthetically. I'm hoping it's a fun map gameplay wise. And I'm hoping I can stay in that map and have some fun until like level 35 plus. I keep seeing this pop up, this dialogue mention of Watcher Cuthbert saying, Beware, beware, a threat lurks in the night or in the wild. Night watchers be on alert. Don't know what that means. I was thinking maybe it's in relation to Stitches who completely murdered me at some point here. But I don't know. Alright, become immune to Blood Moon PvP and lose all stacks of blood for the Blood Lower. Yes. Zondalari magic protects you from the madness of the Blood Moon. So, I think what this is, and I think I mentioned this before, but I think what this is, is a protection from PvP. So I can turn it into a PvE zone for myself, so that I can have a very nice time. Also, I need to summon something, because there's going to be mobs here. I love this zone aesthetically. It looks very nice and cheerful and colorful. And, you know, we've just been questing a lot in dark areas. You know, we've been in Duskwood. We've been in the wetlands. It's all been kind of drab and dry and gray and, and not necessarily bad, but definitely not cheerful. This zone looks very much different. Very much cheerful again. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm going to have a good time in this map because there might be mobs that completely tear me apart. I remember being here and being murdered by a couple... Jaguars or something. Okay, Young Stranglethorn Tiger. Level 31. So we seem to be at an appropriate level. Maybe we're slightly unleveled because I like to be slightly overleveled. But let's see if we can find any sort of outpost here. It looks really cool. I like the ruins and stuff. I love this zone's aesthetic. You know, it's very jungly. But it's giving me like Aztec ruins vibes. And I'm here for it, guys. I'm really here for it. I love this. Also, there are people talking Spanish, I think, in my guild chat. Don't know why. Hunter looking for group PvP. Looking for two more STV PvP, whatever that might mean. Lots of stuff. Whoa. Hello. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I can't die. I don't want to do this. No, no, not again. Okay. We are fine, right? I can't channel my Shadow Bolt here. It's impossible. That's still recharging. I can't pass that yet. Okay, the other one. That spell Hit him. That's still recharging. Get dodge. That spell isn't ready yet. Get a potion. There we go. Potion sh should save us, I but... I am not having the best time here. Come on, Bromuhan. Kill them. Come on. Haunt. I can't pass that yet. Okay, we did kill them, but I... I am suffering. Oh, requires thinning 155. I forgot. I still have to upgrade my... My, um... My skinning at some point. Oh my god, these mobs are scare me. I just want to find a town, okay? Just a town. Please. I don't know where it is. I haven't uncovered anything yet. But there must be a town somewhere here. I'm guessing like next to the water somewhere. Still like this place aesthetically. But the place is scaring me. And if two mobs swarm me. Then I'm in a bit of a pickle. And I'd like to be in just a small pickle. Not a big pickle. 
I don't even like pickles, so get those pickles away from me. I don't mind cucumbers, but I don't like pickles. There you have it. Do with that information as you please. Oh no, level 36 raptors? What am I getting myself into? Wait, can I sneak through here? No, there's raptors down there as well. Oh boy. I just want to see... I want to find some, some outpost, something. Something where I can feel safe. The guys are hunting me. I'm scared. Oh boy. Level 35. Okay. I mean, just one of them. We can take one of them, right? Wait, does he have ranged attacks or something? Yeah, he's hitting me from range, okay? I mean, I'm reasonably tanky, apparently. But still, that guy is also very tanky. I think we're fine just because of haunt healing, maybe? I'm hitting him pretty hard, but he's hitting me very hard as well. But haunt is just saving my ass the entire game. Haunt is so amazing. Yeah, we survived, but this is not where I want to be. That's a murloc outpost of some sort. I need to have a human outpost. Somewhere where I can feel safe. Oh no, with Elder Tiger. Please. Where am I going? Probably no... There's nothing here. Okay, go back. Find an outpost, please. You know what? Just follow the path. I think that's the best course of action. Follow the path. Oh boy, another one. No, I just want to pass. Please, please, Raptor, go away. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice life. Don't get slaughtered by level 50 who passes by. There's a fork in the road. Commit that direction or go down. I don't know. Let's see if I can uncover something on this side. Oh no, level 38. What is this? A, a jungle? Jungle Thunderer. Okay, guys, level 38. No, please get me out of here. I'm not sure I made the right decision coming here. Maybe I'm still on the level a little bit. I mean, I'm close to the level range. But I'm like at the very beginning of the level range. And I'm not sure this is the smartest idea. If I can't go here... Then I'll figure some other place to level. I can always go back to one of the previous zones. I can finish up the quest in Duskwood if I want to. But we'll see. First, let's see if we can make our way to an outpost. This is a lone adventurer. Part 2. Electric Boogaloo. I think is what they always say as a joke. And of course, I copy other people's jokes. Because that's the way I roll. Please don't. No. Go away. I feel like I'm playing a horror game right now. Oh, what is that? Mosh Ork Witch Doctor. Go away. I have no time for you. I don't want to see a doctor IRL when I don't have to. So I'd rather not see a doctor in game either. Is that a town over there? Have I spotted a town? Is that a town I can actually... Is that a town for me? There's an airship there too. Where's it going to take me? Ooh. But I think... Gromgol base camp, please. Oh no. Oh no, it's hot stuff. Oh, but that means I can't go there. Okay. Well, that is unfortunate. Okay, we go this way. We go into the high level areas. I just want to find a town, an outpost of some sort. Somewhere that I can chill and just sit back, you know? Have a drink. Have a Kit Kat. Take a break. Oh boy. A tigress. Okay. We swim our way across. We have a big brain. We can do this. We can make our way through Stranglethorn Vale. Oh, it's a tiger. No. A level 38 mob. Okay, I'm not going to be able to kill that. I need to run away. My summon, you will be forever remembered. And you will be reincarnated. But I, as the little gnome that I am, I need to run. Oh no, he's coming for me. Can you go into the water? Probably not, right? Like, he's a panther. I mean, he probably can, but... There you go. Bro human, you are a real bro. Does the water look different here as well? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it looks more sandy. Southern Savage Coast. Well, it definitely is a savage place. That I can tell for sure. 
Jungle Stalker. Oh boy, they're probably like level 40 or something. Where am I? What am I doing here? I'm going to talk to someone in the future, but I, I told someone I'd be joining some League of Legends flex game soon. Which is, you know, just like ranked games. And if you're watching this, because I know he watches my videos, then you will know what took me so long. It was this journey where I said, I'm going to just go and find the inn, okay? And he's like, yeah, sure. Just like a short walk. Follow the road. Follow the road, he said. Well, I'm following some kind of road, but it's definitely not the regular road someone would follow. But I'm making my way there, I promise. I'll be in flex soon. <laughs> <laughs> this is an experience guys an experience for sure is that a ship down there i think that might be a ship that crashed or something i'm scared of like super strong fishes just like tearing me apart from under me oh wait ho ho whoa 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 hello is that an airship it is an airship bye airship i hope you people have a good trip don't know where you're going but have a good trip we discovered the vile reef which is this reef, which is very vile. I just want to find... Okay, okay. at least I know the flight path is in that direction. I, I guess... I guess I'll just keep on swimming. I guess swimming is the way. Until I find the deep sea monster that tears me apart in like two hits. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, what an adventure have I gotten myself into again. It seems I have found myself a pretty friendly guild though, so that's quite nice. What is that place? Looks like some sort of... I mean, I can't see it on the map, but it looks like a sort of Colosseum or something. I mean, it is a PvP place. So that would make some sense. I have unending breath, so I don't have to worry at all about this. I can just keep casting this and I can swim forever. As long as there are no mobs here, this is the safe route towards wherever the town is. I'm hoping it's not all the way down there, because then it's going to be a while before I get there. But it might be there. Look at that lone raptor just standing there. And maybe he can see my stick above the water. Blood sail compound. You know, I'm committed to just going through the water now. Like, I feel like the moment I go on land, if just one mob aggroes me, I'm dead. Just one mob will kill me. So I will keep going through the water... And nothing will kill me. Alright, maybe I can go on land for a little bit. A little bit faster. Just like stay on the edge. So I can go into the water whenever I need to. Oh, there's a ship over there. Okay, if there's a ship over there. Oh, blood sail warlock. Whoa, okay, back into the water. Back in the water. I'm a fish. I am a fish. Isn't that like a thing when, when people have the hiccups? Like, I don't know if, this, if there's any truth to it. Or if it's like a joke or something. But I think there's like this thing where... If people have hiccups, they're like, I'm a fish, I'm a fish. And supposedly saying you're a fish helps you not have hiccups. Because a fish can't have hiccups or something. Either that's something that actually works because I've never tried it. Maybe it's like a psychological thing that actually does work. Or maybe it's complete bullshit that people say it as a joke. But I've heard it so many times that I don't know. But I just kind of thought of it. Editing me here, I just kind of have to go and intersect real quick. I just googled this because I just had to know. And supposedly the quote is, I am not a fish, but it doesn't appear to work. It just appears to be some sort of placebo where people are telling you, hey, you need to do this thing. It works. People do it. And because they believe it works and the, the placebo effect comes in and then the hiccups are gone. And it supposedly works with many different things like, you know, take a shot of alcohol or just do whatever thing you want to do. So if you want to help someone with the hiccups, I guess just tell them like one specific thing to do and placebo will take care of the rest. All right, we're making good progress. You know, we're, we're getting south. I mean, there must be a town somewhere, right? If the town was here and I completely missed it, I'm going to be so sad. But I choose to believe it's over there because I saw a ship leave there. And that looks like it's part of a town, like that little structure over there. And people are still going there with their flight path. So... There must be some sort of civilization in that general direction, and I'm going to keep going there. Then I'll probably fly straight back out of here, because this is not my place to be just yet. But then at least I'll have the flight path uncovered, and that makes me feel good. Short John Mithril yells, Army hearties, I be having some extra treasure that I be giving away at the Gurubashi Arena. All you need to do is collect it, 
Open the chest I leave on the arena floor. The Feast of Souls begins now. So is that the... Oh, Altar of Blood Loa. Deliver blood to the Blood Loa's altar. So you kill each other and then you deliver blood or something? Is this like a PvP event? I'm assuming this is the PvP event. Cool. Are there mobs here? Because I just need to make sure there isn't anything here. Doesn't look like there's any mobs around me. I think I'm still perfectly fine. And I can keep pushing forward. Great. Dude, an ending breath is amazing. Not that I need it, really, but it just makes me feel at ease. Wait, is that a town? Did, did I make it? Is that a town? Please tell me I made it. Please tell me I did it. Come on. Come on, game. Come on. Janeiro's Point. Booty Bay. All right. This seems town-like. Maybe I did it. Guys, maybe I did it. If I did it, if this is it, collapse in the chat, okay? Okay, you know, I put a lot of effort into this. This was definitely one of the highlights of my series so far. This adventure was interesting. This was part two. Part three will follow at some point where we actually dominate the mobs in this area because we are ultra powerful at that point. Oh, hello. I guess it's like a ship here or something that, that, that stops here because people are waiting there and they'll be like, hey, why is this random guy swimming here? Now, the question is, can I get onto land somewhere? I mean, I reckon I can, right? Can't be like you fall in the water and you're just doomed forever. Probably through like the back of the sand and then jump up on one of these things. This is a really cool place, though. I, I have been here, I think. I think I'm on that warrior, a friend I was playing with, took me here. But I think he took me here by ship. So I guess there must be a ship that then goes somewhere else where I could board it as a horde character. And I didn't know that this was where I was going, but I just remember seeing it now. Also, something just hit me. Fervor of the Temple Explorer. Increases this critical strike chance by 5%, spell damage by 65 and all stats by 8%. Sounds cool. Okay, I'm not supposed to be under here. Can I just... Can I in any way climb up on the side here? Is that is this what I want to do? I'm I'm on some... Whoa, whoa, I'm on something now. All right. Get sniped. Hello, get sniped. Seems good. I seem to be... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on, where is he? Where is he? I see the flight path. I see the flight path. It's probably up above me, but I see the flight path. We We have made it. Our adventure may have been completed. Where is he? Like up here? Uh, further up? Upper? We must upper more? Does this go upper? There's a quest here though. Oh, that's the inn. Cool. I guess I'll log out here. But I want to unlock the flight path before I do. Why? Well, because I want to. And I have to find a way... To go further up. I mean, this leads me up. And then this leads me further up. And then over there is up even more. I will soon be the uppest I can be. The opening continues. Oh boy. Keeps hitting me. Up. And up. Gil. Hello Gil. New flight path discovered. Look at where we are. All the way down here. Cool, on the flight path and covered. You know, that makes me very happy. So now, I guess I'll jump down... Was it here? The Salty Sailor Tavern. Wait. Was this the inn we were just in? Is it like multi-floor? It is multi-floor. It's a very different look. Is this a... Are these trolls? Is this a troll town or something? All right, well... We made our journey complete next time. Guys, I'm going to just think about what I want to do next time. I don't know where I'm going to be questing. Normally, I'd be I'd be saying, hey, I'll leave this guys. I'll, I'll leave this up to you guys. But this video won't be going live for a fairly long time. So I can't ask you guys. So I'll have to do a little bit of research. Just Google like, hey, what are the quest maps I can go to? And I'll figure something fun out for next recording session. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you had as much a blast as I did as I was scared for my life exploring the Stranglethorn Vale. Or, well, not really exploring Stranglethorn Vale. More like exploring the beach and the water. Went for a nice long swim. Proper cardio. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys.